Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Connie Kennedy. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend because this is the best reaction channel on YouTube, right? So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, yeah, so today I'm back with another reaction video from me and AJ. So I'm still in love with my ex. Ooh, okay, so this will be spicy, I guess. Um, and so let's, you know, let's meet in the comments down below and let me know what you think about this whole video. Let's go. Me and AJ. Yes, and let's keep growing together. What's up, beautiful people? Oh my days. Welcome back to another video. So, maybe Hey, AJ is such a pretty woman. Oh my goodness. Ish. Okay. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yes. Because he's rocking black, I'm rocking black. Right. You want to take all the shine. You're a little bit Thanks. You know, when, you, when you're in love, you grow together, you even start looking alike, you even start matching and, and you know, dressing up the same way and talking the same way and laughing the same way. It's, it's the vibe. So it's love. You know, hmm, what we are about to talk about eh, is a very dicey situation, so you need know, different lanes to look into it. Yeah, I understand. It. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm um, me, and this is I'm aging. a beautiful life. Yes, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yeah. I have to say it. It's a fact. Anyway, today we are talking about one crucial issue you know from the title. Uh, subscriber posted it publicly that's why we are talking about it yeah. so yes please pay attention and we need your opinion as well <laughs> yeah, understand. I, I will most definitely give my honest opinion about this so let's see the, let's see i will tell you to all the niger squad joining we appreciate you guys welcome to the, the channel yeah. so before we start someone sent me that person said please can you talk about touching your partner's phone okay. it is. what is your take on touching your partner's phone <laughs> Well, me, I thought there shouldn't be any like problem when you touch your partner's phone. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be any problem. Yeah. Well, I feel it shouldn't be a problem. So that's my opinion as well. I mean, if you have nothing to hide, then it shouldn't be a problem. But let's also think about uh, people who have. So let's say, for example, I married, and before I met my husband, I had friends who were just boys okay and we would we would just joke around stuff and and uh say stupid things right and if my boyfriend or my husband is jealous and i do not want to to say goodbye to my friendships because we've you know i mean not there's nothing has ever happened one of my boyfriends is, uh, is not an ex or something but then i keep talking to them and we still vibe together and then if my boyfriend or my husband goes through my phone and sees those messages he might be worked up like why are you talking to to other men i don't know so if your man is jealous then he shouldn't touch your phone because that is um that is a perfect perfect opportunity for <laughs> for deep jealousy which can lead up to breakup um uh, but if he's not i mean what I own is yours, what's yours is mine. So I feel it shouldn't be a problem if the person you're dating is not jealous, okay? And if you're not hiding anything, okay? So I feel that's the only thing that would cause a problem if it's your man is jealous or your girl is jealous and you're still very good friends with uh, people from the opposite sex, you see? Because if you're not hiding anything from me, yeah. why should I? Why, why should it be a problem when I touch your phone? Mm. I get, I get it becomes a problem when you're hiding something from me. Yes. You oh, you see, AJ, I, I think exactly the same. It becomes a problem when you're hiding something. So that means you're like, you you don't want, you always, you always have your phone down that way. That is fishy. That is very, very fishy. Or you're always taking your phone everywhere with you. That's very fishy. Does it mean that you're cheating? Maybe. Maybe not if the person you your, your significant other is actually a very jealous person. In that case, where you're not hiding anything. Okay, I get AJ's point, but me, I think you should stay off your partner's phone. Mm. Reason being, okay, I have friends 
before I met you. All right. We know how we feel. The things we talk about and stuff. Mm -hmm. Meeting you doesn't mean I have to ignore all my friends and right. Okay. And that's a very important thing to say. And me, and that's very important because most of us, I know I've made that mistake before where I meet, I met people and I'm like, I will just like do away with my friends because he's a jealous person. So, the, so my boy, my boyfriend, like just friends, I would just like put them on the side um, because I didn't want to create problems or cause any jealousy thing issues. So I feel that's a very, if I was to do it again, I would not, uh, I would not put my friends on the side for my person because we all need friends uh, from either sex, you know, so I, I agree with you. We'll still be like talking and mm -hmm. being ourselves, our normal selves. So there might be a message on my phone from my friend. Yes. Fooling as usual. Uh -huh. You might not understand the message. You can't interpret. interpret. You can't interpret. <laughs> <laughs> you can't interpret the message and. Ooh, but I mean, you know, I I disagree on this one. I mean, why should? So I'm talking to in the case where me has a friend who's a girl. Why should she send um a message that is very provocative, that has like could be a sexual connotation to it. You're just friends. Friends, of course, if it's if it's a, it's if a boy, okay, yeah. Boys or you talk about that as much as girls we talk about stuff. But why should someone who's just a friend send you something provocative or something very or maybe a picture or that's where it becomes a problem because she's just a friend and I think everybody should stay in their lane. And if your girlfriend, just a friend, respects your relationship and respects you as a person, they should stop probably um, that those kind of messages because uh, because they respect you. That's my take. That's how I I look at it. I I stop. You stop f flirting or you stop sending text messages that are, you know, that are provocative. Uh, if you respect your friend now that they're dating someone so that's what i think there'll be a problem so i think touching your partner's phone shouldn't be something you should consider like you touch it when you have to mm -hmm. no you know um even though you have a, you have friends mm -hmm. when you are growing there are some um attitude or characters or behaviors you are supposed to put aside right. when you are growing you don't like ask when you were a kid, you used to have some games that you play, but when you grow, you don't do that yeah. games anymore. Yeah, we outgrow things as we grow older, and as also when when you get married, when you have children, you outgrow some things because you're maturing up, and you know, and you don't do foolish things. Yes, yes. Let, so, me give, let me give you a scenario. Maybe uh, this will help. Okay. So let's say my friend texted me, mm -hmm. and my friend was like, the girl at this, like this girl, get her on top up. So so this girl. That is understandable. You right. see, some, maybe you mm -hmm. will understand it. I mm -hmm. know you. But someone will not understand this. The person will feel like, ah, why is your friend telling you this? So this is what he does. And it's your friend. Oh, so this is what you also do. Exactly. But you see, that's when you're dating someone with insecurity issues. That's when you're dating someone who's very jealous. That's that's a that's a different point. So in that case, then you shouldn't hide that you're talking. You have such talks with your boys. Uh, I mean, but the person should know if they look at your phone, it's okay. But you're not going to, you know that that's how it is with your boys. You're not you're not the one who's like uh, talking bad about the girl. You know, it's it's your boys. So I feel that's when when you're dating people with insecurity issues, that can be a very very big problem. Um, because they will believe that yes, uh, that you're also like that. <laughs> you see where it will lead to. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that to be a problem. Yes. Yeah. yeah, for you, it might not be a problem, but for someone, trust me, it might be a problem. So, mm -hmm. I think you should touch your partner's school when you have to. It shouldn't be a hobby. You challenge, if you don't take time, if you go for witch, you, witch hunting, you get broken out. <laughs> and also, you can, like, I don't know, some guys, they can't easily give out their phones to their girlfriends. Yeah, because or wives. guys mess up a lot. Like, so why should you mess up? When they need to relate to start messing up. No, you can't. 
Anyway, so let's go to the real issue for today. Let us know. No, I disagree. When you love your woman, you do not mess up. When you love your man, you do not mess up. And I feel, I believe like today, it's, it goes both ways. Not only boys are messing up, but the girls are out there messing up and turning the tables like crazy. But when you find your significant other, this is the woman of your dreams, someone with whom you can build, then you shouldn't mess up. That you will mess up and you will not find someone like that again. Your thoughts in the comment section, what you also think, mm. and yeah, understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so to the main issue, guys, this is like a long read. Please okay. bear with me. Listen oh. carefully, okay? okay? Please, I'll make it fast. Okay. All right, so <laughs> she says, Hello, Nia Neji. Please, I need your advice on this matter. I'm currently in a relationship with a guy I met on social media, though we haven't met before. I was dating before the social media guy came into the picture. Okay. I broke up with the guy I was dating. Okay. We've broken up severally, but we were on good terms before I left. Okay. You get it? Yeah. She's, she's been broken up with her ex before she finally decided to leave, but they are on good terms. Like okay. They vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay. My main reason was he's not a church guy mm -hmm. i wanted someone that is spiritual but deep down i love this guy so much the second time i broke up with him was because he asked me for sex and i told him i will never try that until i get married okay. i'm a virgin as well so that was why i left him okay. Okay. <laughs> after a long while the social media guy asked me out and i accepted we flow very well, even when I haven't met him. Things were going on smoothly for us, and boom, my ex came back, begging that he's ready to adhere to any rules and regulations I will give him in the relationship. Then I found myself dating him, which is the ex, not just him, including the social media guy. I realized what I actually felt for the other guy is going cold, which is the social media guy. Like, I no longer show him much love, care, etc. as before. So now my question is, what do I do to get rid of the social media boyfriend so I can concentrate on my ex? I can't double date, so I won't want to go. What is your take on this matter? Thank you. Wow, that is what we call an entanglement. That's a pure entanglement. Listen. Um... I, I believe that people come into your life for a reason. You know, when you meet somebody, so your ex knew for a fact that you're looking for a Christian guy, so which he was not, you accepted that. And then uh, and then later on, he knew that your standards and your principle, but he still asked for the sex because that's what, you know, he, that's what he felt. Probably because he loved you enough or he wanted to be your first. You know, there's this guy, there's this guy thing where they always wanted to. To be the first you know guy uh, for a girl and you accepted you, you didn't accept that so he didn't respect your principles but by the end of the day you allowed him into your life knowing very well that he was not um he was not uh, he was not he wasn't christian right he wasn't <clears throat> probably um how do you say a, a practicing you know one so i believe that and that's how I am. I feel that it's not a good idea to go back to your ex. He's an ex for a reason, okay? So you say he was so good to you, that he loved you. But but still, I feel that for you to for you to go ahead and leave him, it's because he pressured you so much. He probably threatened you to leave if you didn't give it to him. He probably did so many different things that went against your principles. And that's why you left him. Does it mean you stop loving him? No, because you still want him back and he came back into your life, you know, because he probably had another girl who gave him what he wanted. I wouldn't go back to my ex. I would give a chance to the social media guy who's been there. Or if you don't love him as much, if he's just a rebound, then in that case, you should just tell him goodbye as well. Because I feel you're in a place in your life where you need to know yourself first. Uh, you need to know what exactly what you want in a person. And then once you know, um, you, you get to discover who you are and what you're looking for, 
then you will find someone who will meet those standards without a doubt. Because when you go back to leftovers, it's never good because you will come back to the same issues, uh, be it domestic violence, be it harassment, um, be it uh, manipulation, be it, you know, all those things, because you will never change a person. So this person, um, I'm not sure he will be ready to wait until marriage. Guys, I'd like to allow Reed. Thanks for staying and listening. Guys, we are coming to discuss this. You can also think about this and let us know in your conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So me, my take on this issue, I think... <laughs> now, let me play the devil's advocate here. <laughs> yeah, because I know most of you guys will go with the ex. So, a guy who was asking you for sex, mm-hmm. whom you've broken up with several it's not the church type mm-hmm. comes back all of a sudden saying I have changed I will adhere to all those regulations mm-hmm. uh, my sister you see guys everything I'm saying I'm saying it based on my experience and my perspective mm-hmm. guys we can adhere to anything right. just to convince you to get there. That's what I said. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this guy can tell the girl, no sex. I'll, I'll do that. Mm-hmm. They can be in the room. The girl will even come close to the guy. The guy will wake up and sit elsewhere, trying to portray some uh, holy character. I don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. No, if you come closer, maybe I might be tempted, blah, 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 all of those things. And it will get to a time, you, the lady, I know that you love cuddling and all of those things. Mm. You might feel like this guy is not really showing me care and love. Like, mm. ah, why? Am I not attractive to you? <laughs> and you might force yourself go closer by then. The trap, the trap has got Bela. Mm. And that's when he will also get closer, do stuff. And you know these things. Emotions. When you touch yourself, you know what will happen. <laughs> things will rise. You will rise to the occasion. And they will be fine. Yeah. So, I'm not really. Yes, I, I, I think what you're also trying to say, it creates like a an, an very uncomfortable situation because a girl will not cuddle <clears throat> with a clear mind. She will think, oh my gosh, I'm going to cuddle, then he will start thinking things, and then he will, stru- he will probably stru- try things. Um, so, yeah, I think from that moment, forward the moment he's asked you for the for eat then it will never be innocent you, you will never be like oh let me just cuddle my man and i will just cuddling no in the back of her head she'll be like okay so if i cut she will start calculating and probably creating things that don't exist but the fact is he wants her and he will most probably do everything possible to get her one or another so it will be a bit weird Filling the old guy mm-hmm. with what you say. If 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 she is going to accept the old guy, whatever being a relationship because he loved mm-hmm. the guy, I think she should never ever be alone with the guy in the room. Yeah. Let's see if the guy can do that for like a whole year. <laughs> okay, um me my take is um, when it comes to relationship eh, you can't tell or um take a decision for the person involved mm-hmm. you get it because when you tell the person okay go in for the social media guy okay um leave the social media guy and go in for your ex hmm. you can become a third person if you don't take time you can become a third person mm-hmm. so me i'll just advise the lady so this is what i'll tell the lady as a lady you're supposed to have standards mm-hmm. And based on your standard, preach, girl, preach. That's when you get a, a it will help you to gain a, a, a man of substance. You get it. So let's say you your your standard is you don't want to break your virginity. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm-hmm. You have to also know the plan of the guy and also know your plan. Does AJ have blue eyes? Ooh. Okay. Wow. Nice! Wow, your eyes are really beautiful. 
you have to also know the plan of the guy and also know your plan. If the guy's plan can fit into your plan, mm -hmm. then or if if yeah, you, it can't fit into your plan and you can compromise with some things and you guys can move on, then you everything lies in your court. Mm -hmm. You are wearing the shoe and you know how best it fits you. Right. Whether it's tight on you or it's losing right. on you, you can tell. So I'm not here to tell you go for this or this. Just spell out your standards and know the ones that you can negotiate on and the ones that you can't negotiate on. Oh, that's a very important point. It's very important to know you're non-negotiable. Those non-negotiables will, will save you a lot of time, trouble, stress, all those things, heartbreaks. Because once you know your standards, once you know the ones that are non-negotiables, it means someone who comes to the table and does not respect your standards, it's a no, and no thinking about it. It's a no, okay? And a no is a, it's a complete sentence. You know, when you know, we, we often like, we always try to explain our no, but when you know exactly what you want to, you know, what you want and what you don't want, then the no should be a complete sentence and that will save you a lot of time. Do not explain yourself. So when you tell somebody you're non-negotiable, but they try to still negotiate with you, it means that they do not respect you. So I agree with you, uh, AJ, 100%. Know your standards. Know the one who respects them. If you don't love them, uh, if you don't love this social media guy as much as you love your ex, then do not break that social media's heart by staying with him just to stay with him. Okay? Not just... Do not do that. Just do away with both. I would honestly, I would advise you to do away with both and start from zero and try and you know just know yourself. Just as I said in the beginning, I think that's the best way to go about it. And just move on. Okay, right. so this um, this uh, another angle as well, or like let me add up to what I said previously. Mm -hmm. You know, she's madly in love with the ex right now. Mm -hmm. She can't like even think straight mm -hmm. when you leave the decision for her mm -hmm. to take. I'm sure that's why she brought it on board so people can also share their opinion. We posted it in the community tab and people are sharing their opinion as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now, you know our story. Mm -hmm. We broke up. Yeah. You were doing me, uh, no, I'll let you touch me and stuff. Mm -hmm. We broke up. Okay. I came back. Yeah. You accepted. <laughs> Did that prevent us? No. That's why I said she has to have her standards. And if she says she has a standard and she's standing according to her standards. Oh, I didn't know that you guys were dating, then you broke up, then he came back and then you accepted him. Okay, wow. So this, this is a strong couple and I feel like you have to start to build stronger foundations and that made you know your negotiables and non-negotiables and then you had to go ahead from there. Okay. As a lady, mm -hmm. you have to know the one that you can negotiate on and the one right. you can never ever negotiate on. Right. So if the guy is coming into your life, you tell the guy, okay, this and this and this are my standards, this and this and this are my plans. Mm -hmm. So can you adhere to it? But you told me, you still gave me your mind. Say, nothing has changed though if you are coming whatever. But at the end of the day, like I said, we got, we came so close. Mm -hmm. at, I adhere to your regulations, rules, and everything. Oh, and yeah, we are, we are married. No, you, you, see, you see, we, we are fortunate and maybe like... We yeah, that's why we can't yes. take the decision for yes. her. So, it's, her. it's about her, it's like everything mm -hmm. stands on her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... The boy is in her court to take the decision. So, mm -hmm. I think to help her take the decision, this is what me I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Like I said, don't be with this guy alone in a room for over a year or something because your virginity is very very important and you want to hold it till you get married yeah. so like try and distance yourself and, and also see when guys tell you that I will stay off sex until we get married blah 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 he's getting it elsewhere okay so this is what I want to tell you that I want to tell the girl is she should ask herself what makes her love this guy you get it. It shouldn't time. be um, a physical appearance, only mm. the physical appearance. The physical appearance is just a mm. class. But go beyond the physical appearance. Mm. Mm. Check the maturity of the guy. <laughs> Check the maturity of the guy, um, his plans mm. and everything. Mm. Whether, and you said you want someone who is spiritual. Don't 
impose or force someone to be um, to change mm-hmm. the, unless the person is willing and ready to accept that change right. if you impose the change on the person yeah do not impose the the, the change on a person because um that that is toxic you know that is toxic when we impose things when you want someone to change you know when you can come into my life take me as i am it's up to me to decide whether or not i want if i don't want it then <clears throat> then so be it so don't impose it but if it comes from the person then that's positive because that shows that they love you that they want to make certain changes for you and they also want to you know to become a better person if they have some toxic traits so i agree with you i think uh, you can never change a person, but just know what you want, and then from there, it will be you will attract. You will actually attract people who look like you because you're you already love yourself enough. You have confidence in yourself. You have your principles. You have your morals. You have your non-negotiables, and and so on. Because you know yourself, then you will attract exactly what you're looking for. You making you are making a big mistake. Right. Let a person realize and also like try and side his mind that okay mm-hmm. i want to change for this don't try ask the person if you are forcing that change on him mm-hmm. if you are forcing that change on him please then and and, mm-hmm. and and also when you see when people come together like they get fed up so when you reach that stage the real character will start coming out yeah mm-hmm. you understand so <laughs> the early stages of love yeah the masks you know, start falling, right? Or peeling, I don't know, yeah. Foolish decisions, so. <laughs> only foolish decisions, so, so be careful. And like yeah. I said, like I'm not trying to give all the possible mm. problems. Yeah, you're being, you're being realistic. Right. Yes, I'm being yeah. realistic. We don't want to be like, uh, do this, do, do that. that. Yeah, no sugar coating, exactly. No, I'm being realistic. That's what I'm saying. Guys can tell you, I'll not do it until we get married. Mm. He's getting it elsewhere. Right. He's satisfying himself elsewhere, knowing that well. Say some married. guys, don't say guys. It's okay, not all some, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. Some guys. <laughs> some guys. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. And also, the social media guy. Well, you love this new guy more than the social media guy. But left to me alone. No, he loves her ex more than the social media yeah, guy. Yeah, you love your ex more than the mm-hmm. social media guy. But left. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me say this. I think you should tolerate the social media guy. Mm. That's what. Yeah, I, don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, I think you should tolerate the social media guy. Don't let mm. him go. One, you've not. Met- I don't agree. I don't agree because I feel that she needs to concentrate on just one person, and I think that's why she should not date any, neither, neither guy. She shouldn't date neither the, the ex or the social media guy. She has to go back to the drawing board get to know herself more, get to know herself better, get to know what she's looking for exactly, get to know her non-negotiables, and then from there she chooses one, one of them, one who meets those standards or maybe meet a different person altogether. Because if she tolerates both of them, it goes against also her Christian principles because you're actually um, using two people in a way, you know, using... Uh, their their feelings, playing with their feelings, with their emotions. So I don't think she should tolerate the social media guy, unless if she's honest about it to both of them and tells them, listen, I'm I'm dating you, but I'm also dating this other guy. But you see, it goes against her morals and principles, her Christian morals. And so, no, I would say tolerate this one once you know exactly what you're looking for. Or neither of them, you know, because I feel it's going to be a tricky situation where she has to choose one. Feelings grow, and so she might love them the same. What does she does she go to a polyamorous relationship? Hmm, I don't think so. Met him. You've seen his pictures. Have you spoken on phone and everything? Hmm. There's some connection. You said you flow, you vibe. Right. Keep it like that. Don't meet because you don't want to have sex before marriage, and it is working. You are not meeting, and it's working. You understand? <laughs> So isn't that sweet? Like no. okay. Yeah. So and in, in every relationship too, if you want to start a relationship with someone, start start with friendship. Know mm-hmm. the person very well before you enter into a relationship mm-hmm. with that person. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's it's a very nice base. You know, when you're friends first, and then it goes into something else because you, as a friend, you know me as I am. You know, I don't have to play cute or you don't have to play strong because you're trying to you know to get to get me. 
um, you know, as your girlfriend or as your boyfriend. So I feel like, yeah, when you're friends, you're crazy. They know your crazy part. They know your nice part. They know you as you as a person. Then if they like you as you are, then when it comes to love, the, the foundation is extremely strong. So that's, that's right. I agree. That's my advice. So, Faith, get your standards right. Mm. Know your nego- the ones you can negotiate on, the ones you can never ever negotiate right. on. And also, um, if you're able to know your standard, that's what will help you mm. get a man of substance. Mm. And pray. Prayer is the key. <laughs> right. Whatever decision you make after watching this or whatever, you should know that when you start feeling a woman, as a woman, when you start feeling bad for not allowing your guy to do something or one particular thing mm-hmm. it's very dangerous you easily give him yeah mm. it's very dangerous so be careful with that right. as well <laughs> yeah, it's because at some point you don't want to lose them so you feel the only way to keep them is by giving in and then you will feel awful about yourself so that's right I wish I could turn back the club so guys, um, the camera had to stop recording, so AJ said a lot. Sorry. Yeah, you should have them back there, clock and hands of time and all of them back. But I just said. Hey, I would just just stick to what I said. Are we not? Are we not here? No more sex. Are we not here today? Yeah, we are here today. So that's why I said you can become a third person if you are advising someone. No. In you, a relationship. You, 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 you just have to st- um spell so out the standards. You, you become you become a third person when no one called you. Or no one has called you, then you just start giving opinions. And you brought it to us, so we we'll set our minds. Decide on what we want to do. You are yeah, so we just we've advised you. So mm. everything we can say a lot, we can tell you this, this, right. and that, but everything lies in your court. Right. Take the final decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. Yes, we are all different. We all have different opinions. We all have different standards. We all have different everything. So by the end of the day, it's your decision. But I feel do not break anybody's heart or feelings just know yourself first your standards and then you will see you will choose one of them wisely or find somebody who meets all your standards guys that's it and we thank you for watching to this far we really appreciate you guys god bless you yes if you need cctv i know cctv contact me yeah you saw this around the screen yeah that's not Whenever I stop to say a prayer, say one question. See you guys next time. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, I love you guys so much. You're such a pretty couple. And that was very interesting because I, we know we all have different, I think it all adds up to your morals and your principles and getting to know who you are before you date somebody. Because if you're not full, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So make sure your cup is full, then you can offer some to other people and not expect the person in your life, your significant other, to be the one to fulfill you. They will not. They can only support you, but it's all up to you to fulfill yourself and you will most definitely have a happy relationship because the foundation is very strong already and everything else will just fall into place. So uh, I love this one too. Uh, thank you so much, me and AJ, for such a, an interesting conversation. I think we should continue having this conversation. It's very important. Yeah. And so if you enjoyed my reaction, please make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. And until next time, bye.